it's your favorite YouTube dealer. I appreciate you guys for stopping in. We got some pentatonics this week. It's been a minute. I actually just recorded another reaction to them right before I started this one for Can You Feel the Love Tonight? And that was just so beautiful. Like, they are such an amazing group of people. They make everything that they touch sound 10 times better. No offense to the originals, but it's crazy. So now we have Little Drummer Boy, which... I don't think I'm as familiar with as Can You Feel the Love Tonight. I'm pretty sure I've heard it because it sounds so familiar, but I can't like, I can't hear it in my head right now if I think about it. So let's dive in. Let's see what they're doing with this one. Ooh. Okay. Obviously, I know this song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Our finest gifts we bring. To lay before the king. So to honor him. As always, the vocals are amazing, but that, that little beatboxing in the background is just so well done. Shall I play for you? The ox and lamb kept time. I played my drum for him, ba I played my best for him, ba rum pa pam pam, rum pa pam pam, rum pa pam Then he smiled at me, ba rum pa pam pam, me and my drum. on her too. I love it. I like it. I like it. This is a lot older, clearly. This was at, uploaded 10 years ago because their looks are quite different, especially from the last one I just did, the Can You Feel the Love Tonight? Their looks have taken on another, um, whoosh, I like that. All right, hold on. Let me, let me look something up really quick because I don't know when they started to, uh, the tonics. when did they 
when did they start? I guess is the best way to look. 2011. Okay, so this being 10 years ago, 2024. So this was like four years after they started. When did they become famous? Okay, 2011. They became the first acapella act to make it to our 30 under 30 list. Um, so this is, oh, Forbes. Scott Hoying, Kevin Alusula. I'm probably going to say some of these names wrong. Kristen Maldonado, Mitch Grassi, and Avi Kaplan. Okay. Hasn't been an easy road after winning the sing-off in 20... Okay, they won a sing-off in 2011. I'm going to have to look that video up. If that's something that's available that we could do a reaction to, I'm going to have to do that. They got a $200,000 record deal and was quickly dropped. Oh. Interesting. So they... Okay, so it, it started off a little... Like, it started off good and then went a little bit rough, but they kept together and kept doing their thing. And they've been doing pretty well as far as I know. But it said in a video message posted May 12, 2017, Avi was seated by the other Pentatonix members and he made an emotional farewell and explained his departure. He stated that though he greatly enjoyed his time with Pentatonix, it took a toll on his emotional well-being and his relationships. So they're not together anymore. Okay, since the sing-off, they've kept four original members. They brought in one replacement when bass singer Avi Kaplan embarked on a solo career in 2017. They quietly auditioned a replacement, Matt Sally. I'm not sure who, which one is who. Now I got to look all this stuff. I'm sorry. I know I, I probably don't need to be doing this during the, um, the actual reaction. Okay. So Matt says, so the, the, uh, my, my, my fellow black man here, that's what I'm going to, that's what I'm going to call him. He, uh, so he was not a part of the original. As far as I understand, he ended up coming on after the fact, but th wait, but, th but th that was in, in 2017, which means that it's not him. So there's, there's two black members now. If I'm not mistaken, is what it is. So he's all these, these were the original members, I assume. And then I think it was this guy to the right that ended up leaving, if I'm not mistaken, based on pictures. All right. Anyways, this is stuff that I could do off of uh, off the reaction. I don't have to necessarily do this right now. But Pentatonix is extremely dope. And I'm pretty sure they are still doing stuff because last I remember, we checked out like a Christmas song just recently. Oh, hold up. Hold up. Oh, no. Wait, please don't play. Don't wait. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, three months ago, Pure Imagination, Christmas Time is here. We did a reaction to that. We did Oh Holy Night. That's right. Okay, so they have, that's right. They have two black members now. Okay, that, all right, that makes more sense. I'm just, I'm not really familiar with the timeline of things. And when I was watching this video, I'm like, I feel like some of these guys like look different, but I think that their looks were just different because they've changed their looks a lot. And um, I didn't recall the fact that there had been two black members in the more recent ones that I did versus the older ones. Regardless, none of this really matters. They're amazing. That's really what it comes down to. They're absolutely amazing. And uh, I want to check out some more of their stuff. And it looks like they put quite a bit out just four months ago that I don't believe I've checked out yet. Like, Oh, Little Town of Bethlehem, Christmas, Oh, Holy Night, Pure Imagination. We did the Pure. Okay, we did that one. Little Toy Trains, Children Go Where I Send These. So this is like a Christmas album, obviously, based on the pictures there. Please, Santa, please. I'm going to have to check some more of these out. You guys let me know which ones you guys would prefer me to check out, which ones your favorites were. Like, what was your favorite thing that they dropped in the last year? And maybe we'll start with that and see what people say and we'll kind of dive in and stuff. But I think that they're absolutely amazing at what they do. It's um, It's been a lot of fun checking out their music and stuff, and I definitely want to continue to go down that path. So let me know in the comments. I appreciate you guys. And aside from that, let me know anything else you want to see, and I will catch you in the next one, homies.